kick you ready to hear some more tonight. Hallelujah. So come on and put your hands together. Amen. 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 Amen.
holding this church, praise God, the youth for our Bible, praise God, the Bible of this year, praise the Lord, praise God. Give yeah, honor and praise to our Lord Jesus Christ on the night, y'all give him a hand clap, praise God, for these words to be praised, amen, he worthy of all the going on tonight, amen, he's worthy, praise God, give honor to our shepherd of our house on tonight, praise God, pass the hand to him, say amen, praise God. Praise God for the work that she's doing in this hour. Hallelujah. Praise glory. Praise God and give him glory. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go to our musicians on tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to go to our brothers on tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Give honor to Sister Keisha. Amen. And the work she's doing with the uh, camera. Y'all give her a hand clap, baby. Praise God. Give it on to uh, Brother Knight. Praise God. From the sound system. Y'all give a hand clap, man. This is not going to be a church. Praise God. This is a saint God. Amen. This is not going to be a saint God. This is not going to be a saint God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We're going to move further on into the service. Praise God. We're going to give... Um, Prepare for um, scripture reading by uh, Nisha Dahl. Amen. Y'all give a hand clap. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be reading from Esther, chapter 4, starting at verse 13. The Mordecai commanded Esther, Esther, answer Esther, think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? And Esther bade them return Mordecai this answer. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. To our service, praise God. We're gonna get prepared for the burning fire testimony. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Y'all know my slogan. <laughs> now, if anybody got a burning fire testimony, it's not about the gifts of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. If anybody got a burning fire testimony, it's not about the gifts of the Lord. All right. Y'all get a hand clap to pop. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I'm so happy for y'all to see me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Amen. You know, for all these years that I've been on this earth, until I guess maybe 10 years ago, maybe less than that, I find out that how blessed I am. Right. I am truly, truly blessed. Blessed. Amen. You know, uh, I think I've told you this before, but uh, 84 years ago, the night, the day, my late mother said I was born. I took that birthday for 40 years <laughs> until I got my birth certificate and it said that I was born the 22nd. But from 21st, 22nd, 84, a lot of years. Amen. Like Pastor said last week, when you when people say they feel like they're 16 when they're 85. No, you don't. <laughs> Trust me. You, you feel like you are 85 years old, 84 Amen. years old. But you're blessed to be here. Amen. It's not guaranteed. And that's about all I have to say, except I need your prayer, continuous prayer. And especially for my sister Sarah, she's not doing very well. And I had talked to her coming with me tonight, but 
all of she changed her mind. So uh, just continue to pray for me and my son. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else that got a burning fire testimony? Praise God. Is there anybody else that got a burning fire testimony on tonight? I'm going to call Brother Chris to come up here and give us a testimony. Y'all give him a hand. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Sit down and let somebody else get a chance, but hey, I ain't gonna miss my opportunity to lift up the Lord. How I many thank God for another revival? I'm just encouraged and blessed in my soul to be here. I'm encouraged and come with the expectation because I know God is here to meet us, He's here to meet our needs. And I thank God for giving me a mind to want to be in the church, giving me a mind to want to serve Him at a young age. Well, I don't know if I can say yo too much more because I'm 33 and I got all these gray hairs, but I just thank God for it all. And y'all continue to reach out. Praise the Lord for the testimony on tonight, my brother Chris. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody else that got a burn of fire testimony about the goodness of the Lord on tonight? Praise God. All right, then. I ain't going to press on you to do it. Praise God. We're going to move further on. Praise God on tonight. Praise God. We got a man of God that raised her right here at the church of Dalton. Praise God. Praise God. Coming from Abbeville, Alabama. Praise the Lord. Brother Adrian Goldsmith. Y'all give him a hand if I can see for the word.
want to thank God for my mom and my brother being here. send forth your anointing, Lord. God, let it destroy every yoke, Lord. God, let it break chains, Lord. God, let your word change lives, Lord. And God, we pray, oh God, God, that you would search each and every one of our hearts, Lord. God, clean us up, Lord, God, and make us fit, Lord, God, for the master's use, Lord. And God, we pray, Lord, on tonight, God, that you would help us, Lord God, to do our part as Christians to the body of Christ, Lord. God, help us, oh God, to forget ourselves, Lord. God, help us, oh God, not to lean to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all of our ways. And God, God, as we go further tonight, God, I pray, God, that you would anoint my lips with clay, Lord. God, use me, Lord God, to speak your word. Anything that's not of you, Lord, we find it in the name of Jesus. And God, we pray right now, God, God, that you would just help us in every situation, God, that we need you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 You can have your seats. Amen. 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 Tonight. Amen. We, we start in our revival. Right. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to be revived? Amen. I didn't see over about four or five hands go up. Amen. But you're going to need the law. That's right. Amen. Amen. It's going to be situations, circumstances that come down through your life. Amen. And that first touch, amen, it might get a little water put on it. Amen. Ain't as strong as it used to be. And you're going to need the law to revive you. Amen. amen. In the midst of pondering, trying, Amen. I to see what God wants me to do. Um, um, so many times, you know, I try to talk to the Lord and I try to be prepared for when the opportunity comes. Um, I'd like to be, you know, somewhat I'd like to look, look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Even if I don't, I want to look like it. Amen. Hey, hey, and we act like it too. Amen. Amen. And that's why I'm kind of big. I like to be prepared. Amen. 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 And God didn't let me be prepared this time. Hello? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't let me, he, he, didn't, he didn't give me two, two three weeks of notice. Put me on something, amen. And I pondered, I struggled, amen. And I, and I thought about, amen, with the situation being Pastor Anderson's uh, 
appreciation. Yeah. Amen. I, I really wanted to kind of make sure that I stay within the confines of her teaching. Right. Amen. Amen. And when you talk to the pastor, pastor she just about got two answers for all your questions. Amen. 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 Y'all know what number one is, right? Right. Right. Pray. Amen. 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 Number two, you gonna need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Huh? Amen. Talk to the Lord about it. Amen. Seek the Holy Ghost. Amen. I said, Lord, would you help me to kind of touch on those things in order to help the body of Christ. Right. Amen. Amen. I also said, now this is a revival, Lord, and, and every time I have got up here, sound like I've been teaching. I want to preach. <laughs> uh, right. Amen. 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 I'm just telling the truth, amen, about the whole thing. <laughs> amen. amen. I said, Lord, I want to. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Help me, Lord. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you the truth, amen. I don't care how much I want to, amen. I just thought he, he going to do what he want to do, and I have to obey. Amen. I guess when he get ready for me to the hoop, amen, he'll, he'll get it to me, amen. But I also, me and Brother Chris talk about that. We have fun with it a lot. And I also, I think that come from a passion. Amen. And, and what the preacher be talking about at that present moment. Amen. And, and you don't know what that person have been through. Amen. That, that, that gave him that. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, help me hold it goes. No, I got to have, that, that, that's who I am, amen. I got to have some fun, amen. But so many times, amen, um, when we come to the house of God, amen, we, I heard Brother Chris said, and he testified, he come with expectations, amen. We want God to do something. Boy, I heard Sister Faith say something, something similar to the same thing, amen. amen. When we come, amen, we come looking come with an expectation. Right. Amen. Amen. But church of those that I I was reading and I stumbled up on Psalms 100 verses 3 and 4. It says, enter his court with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and with a praise. Right. Enter Soon as you come in the door. Right. With thanksgiving. That tells me we got to come giving. That's right. We coming with the wrong narrative from the beginning. We coming with expectation, which is great. But his word just say enter with thanksgiving and with a praise. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm here to let you know you got to give to receive. Amen. In God, you are gonna have to make the first move. Mm -hmm. We have waited, we we sit around and we waiting on God, it ain't gonna help. You're gonna have to make the first move. Move. And I see y'all looking at me real strange, but we're going to help you tonight. Amen. All right. All right. And it's the same thing, amen, when we get to talking about receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We'll come reaching out. Amen. We 
we we we want we want to tell we tell God we need this. We we gotta have this power, Amen. We need this source, Amen. In our lives, Amen. We need the Holy Ghost to lead us, to teach us, to guide us, Amen. We we got situations and circumstances that come up, Amen. We need our the Holy Ghost, Amen, to be a, a mind regulator, Amen, a, a heart fixer. All these different things that we need the Lord for, Amen. And the Lord even in receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost in order to receive you're going to have to give. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. He said in the Bible he said present yourself your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. The word present means give. So how many times, amen, that we come in here, amen, and you heard Sister Faith in the midst of uh, song service, amen, pumping and priming, amen, that with this revival, we shouldn't be sitting on it. Huh? And that's because we come looking for God. We come to get something from the God, and God is looking for us to give to him. So if you're expecting a move of God and you're sitting on your butt, on your butt won't wave your hand, won't say amen, amen, won't thank the Lord for nothing, right. amen, what did you expect him to do? Right. You got to give in order to receive. Amen. Huh? Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, it is essential to this life you can even, even Jesus in his last days, I mean the last day when he was up in the upper room and he was teaching the disciples on how to live, how to teach, how, what, what you're going to be needing on this Christian journey. But his main objective was that they receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. And they were going to have to die to themselves in order to receive. So you ain't getting nothing unless you give. All right. Huh? Touch your neighbor and say you got to give in order to receive. And you know the Holy Ghost, you know, we fighting a devil that goes about that's going about like a roaring lion. Seeking whom he made the Bible. Amen. Now the Holy Ghost is going to be the only thing that can save you in the midst of a battle with a ruined line. Amen. Huh? Amen. All right. I don't know about in here that can, in their own might, naturally, can deal with a lion. Right? right? If you recall the book of, in the story of Samson, He and his parents was on their way to Timnath. And it says a young lion jumped, a lion, a young lion jumps out and roared against him. And Samson rent that lion with his bare hand. But before it said that, he said the spirit moved on him. So you're going to have to have the Holy Ghost yes. to fight your battle in any situation. It's, it's out of our control, amen. We are no match to the devil. Amen. amen. That's the reason why Jesus went and gave up the ghost, amen, because he knew that we were going to need a comforter, amen, in the midst of going through everything that we're going to have to go through and face on this earth. Amen. He said the world hated him so you know he's going to hate us. Right. Amen. 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 Soon as you accept the Lord Jesus Christ and you come out, amongst the, uh, come out from amongst the world, now that you are no longer of the world, but you, I mean, you're no longer in the world. Amen. No longer in the world, but you here. And you got to do things in the world God's way. And the only way that's going to be able to be done is going to have to be 
you're going to have to have the Spirit of God to move on you just like Samson. Amen? Amen. At the end of that same story, Samson had to told Delilah, amen, his secret. She, amen, he laid his head in her, in her lap. She cut his hair off. And then she woke him up and said, the Philistines be a foot pain. Samson thought he was just going to get up, amen, that time and shake himself and do some of the same super, supernatural stuff that he had been doing. But heaven had to look down on him and saw that he had to broke that vow. And he don't say nothing about the spirit moving on him at that point. So what he had done gave that was causing that spirit to move on him, he don't cut it off, now the spirit don't move. Huh? You got to have the Holy Ghost. I know we hear it all the time, but Amen. It's essential. Yeah, amen. We're going about life, amen, as if we got it all in tight. Mm -hmm. And we don't need it. We ain't reaching out like we need it. Amen? Yeah. But in order to, amen, withstand some of the, the, the wickedness and the trial and the tribulations, amen, that we are going through, amen, it is not a power that's within us that can handle it. Amen. If you kind of do some all this stuff, amen, deal with all the, the, the stuff that we go through in life, amen, you're going to end up, amen, in a the state of depression. Amen. Then you, in this state of depression, amen, now you, you want to kiss me. Amen. Depression brings on sickness. Right. Amen. Amen. Then death. Touch your neighbor and say, you got to give in order to receive. And what the one thing about the Lord that's, that's really great in him telling us, amen, that we're going to have to give but he did say, amen, give, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. So he don't leave it right there. He letting us know, amen, that he's going to take care of us. But you got the first give. It started, turn with me to the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38. Got it? Say amen. 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 Give, and it shall be given unto you. Give. Then he said, and it shall. Shall is a command. Amen. So that's letting, that's letting, letting you know, uh, anybody else, that you can't have my blessing. It says, give, and it shall be given unto you. Amen? amen. So if you give, amen, God ain't going to give back to your friend. do will give to you. Right. Amen? amen? Then he said, a good measure. Uh -huh. God ain't giving us nothing that we don't want. That's right. Huh? Amen. If you want a hamburger, he don't give you a hamburger. <laughs> huh? And then he's going to give you a good measure. So that hamburger going to be big. <laughs> huh? It's going to be enough, amen, to take care of you. Amen. It's going to be enough to satisfy you. Amen. He ain't going to give you just enough, amen, that, 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 that makes you mad. Huh? He can give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure. Who don't want a good measure? Amen. Who don't want more than enough? Amen. Then he said, press down. Huh? You 
You know when you you know when you go get a breakfast, Chris, you know when you go get some ice cream. You don't want that. When you get them scoops of ice cream, you put it in a cone, amen. You just don't put that ice cream on that cone. You press it down. Huh? And when you press it down, though, that causes you to get more into this cone. Amen. That's normally they're able to get in them. Huh? And that's what Jesus began to do for us. Amen. Press down our blessings. Huh? Here's a, here's a lady. Paid a tithe son. After she paid a tithe, she was broke. Got to go to work. Monday, car, car on E. Get in the car, pray. Go on to, tr go on to work. Make it. Gas head still on E. Get back in her after work. Head to the house. Mace it. Pray. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Got to try it again. <laughs> no money. No. Just paid up time, though. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Right. Now listen. Tuesday, same thing. Go to work on E. Come back home on E. Made it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Made it dancing. I don't know what I'm going to do about Wednesday. Right. Tuesday night, a co-worker called. Said, Mary, I got something I want to tell you, and it's very important. I want you to come ride to work with me tomorrow. Huh? Co-worker picked her up. Take her to work. On her way to work. She said, Mary, you know you let me borrow $200 last week. I mean, last year. I ain't forgot about it. Nasty lay was broke. She done made the work Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday she done made it to work. And now she got $20 in her pocket. Wednesday night her son called. Said, Mama, me and bro coming to get you and we're gonna take you out to eat. Thursday, she done, she got money in her pocket. Brought so children coming, took her out to eat, and she done went to work. Friday, she got a paycheck. God done took them blessings and pressed them down. Huh? Got more out of what she had in the pocketbook. Huh? That's what the Lord will do. Press down. Huh? Then he said, shaking together. Shaking together. Now, if this thing had already been pressed down, God shake it together, and when you shake something together, amen, you're shaking it together, amen, in order to make more room. Yeah. And to give. Huh? But, but, but it's a give, and it shall be given unto you. Uh -huh. Huh? Now, shake it together, and running over no. shall men give into your bosom. Mm -hmm. Here's another lady. Got a job. Struggling. Got a job that won't make ends meet. Go on to that job. The job involved in her sin by uh, the elder. An uh, elderly man. Amen? Amen. Elderly man is rich. Woman gone every day. See about this man? She ain't even have, she, she ain't even have got money, amen, to, to, to feed herself sitting there with this man. And he's rich. Take to take a uh, lunch from the house. It might consist of two bananas. Getting up to the house, the man, that this rich man, amen, say, ooh, that banana so look good. Get, she give him one of them. She broke. He rich. And he won't even buy himself a banana. Huh? But the lady just keep on doing the same thing. Keep on showing love. Keep on giving the bananas, oranges, 
Same man. God, God moved because he started giving to this woman. All right. Gives her enough to where the blessings begin to run over. The son was staying in the trail park. The good, now, this, this lady has been blessed so much to abundance to where she got a brand new house and she was able to get her son out of the trailer park right. by giving her her house. All right. Pressed down, yeah. running over, yeah. huh? Yeah. Give, yeah. and it shall be given unto you. Huh? Who don't want that kind of favor on your life? Amen. But you got to first come give it, church. Amen. I think we got this. I think we have came for too long, amen, with the wrong perspective. Amen. I think the narrative have got to change. When people are, when, when the, when the pastors and, and song service lady is up here, amen, trying to get us to reach out, amen, it, it, it shouldn't be like that. Huh? Because if we come, if, if we come and with expectation, amen, at the same time, you got to give. So we should have come in this house. Give us! Amen? I know we shouldn't be here. It's an enter. When you enter, amen, you come in with your. Come on. That ain't with a pray. That ain't with Thanksgiving. Huh? That's the, that's the wrong attitude. So what do you expect to get yeah. when you come into the house of God with the wrong spirit? Yeah. Huh? Touch your neighbor and say, give. Yeah. Yeah. And it shall yeah. be given unto you. Yeah. Yeah. Church of Noah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't it's no way, other way to put it. This is the road map. Right. We got to follow it. It ain't telling us nothing wrong. Right. It, it, might, it might be wrong. It might not feel good to our flesh uh -huh. in the process of being obedient and doing what God tells us to do. But we all want to be blessed, right? Yeah. I mean, we all want we we serving the Lord, Amen. Cause we we want to, you know, we want to make it to heaven, but we want to we want that good measure, huh? And that good measure it comes from us get doing our part, Amen. Cause it, and on down it said, but with the same measure, what you measure with, God gonna use that to give it back. So if you come in here with a with a little praise, God gonna give you a little dollar. <laughs> huh? You come, you come with a big praise, amen. You get a big blessing. That just is what it is. So now we, it's up, it's up at that at this moment. But every, each and every one of us who have heard this word, right. no need for us to come here sitting down amen. on the law, huh? Because he said, "Enter this course with thanksgiving." And even to receive the Holy Ghost, you've got to present. Yeah. Uh -huh. And present means to give. Yeah. Right. Huh? Amen. Hey, you got to get out of yourself. Mm -hmm. we got to be givers. Amen. 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 And that's one thing, that's another thing that we can't say about our pastor. Amen. 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 She is a giver. Amen. And but look what she don't receive. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Give, church, and it shall be given unto you. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 I'm done with it.